Hi. It's bedtime over here. So if you hear any screaming, that's what that's about. Welcome to another five minute review. The point of these is to give you an idea if you want to read a book or not. If you want to see more stuff from me, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every week. Okay, start the timer. The House on the Cerulean Sea is by TJ Klune. He's a queer author writing queer books and believes in a strong and positive queer influence in writing. So, he's writing it. It's so nice reading a book with gay characters where being gay isn't the hurdle that they're having to clear for the entire book. That story is important and should be told, but sometimes it's nice to just read a book where people are unapologetically themselves and nobody questions it. It is so refreshing. This book centers around our main character, Linus, who, side note, I pictured as Sean Astin. He's 40 years old, he lives alone with his cat. He has been working as a caseworker for the Department in Charge of Magical Youth, or Dikomi, Dikomi, where he has been in the same position for like 17 years. He is known for his care to attention and detail. And so he is selected for a highly classified top secret case. He secretly sees it as a mini vacation from the snooze fest that is his life. He is sent to an island where they keep six highly classified children. A gnome, a sprite, a wyvern, a were pomeranian, how many do I need? A green blob, and the antichrist. There's also mysteries surrounding the orphanage's master, Arthur Parnassus. I am not spoiling anything when I say that this is a love story. It's not just romantic love which I loved about it. But there is some of that. It does have romantic love, but it's also about self-love and family love. The children in this book are so wonderfully done. They are fully fledged characters and they are laugh out loud funny. Oh, it's also so nice when a book has kids in it and nothing bad happens to them. These children are safe and loved and cared for. And I just, that never happens. It was such a nice break from like every book with kids in it. This book is sweet. It is pure sugar in the form of a book. It might be a bit twee for some people and there is a lot of almost monologuing life lessons, but you know what? They're good lessons. They're about acceptance and love and community and kindness. You don't like kindness? So as long as you know that that's what you're getting into, I think just roll with it. Go along for the ride and enjoy the sickly sweetness of it. Let that sweetness wash over you and cleanse your soul. I've also heard that this book is amazing on audio. I did not read it that way, but people around me say two thumbs up. So if that is your preferred reading format, have no fear. Okay, how'd I do? I don't know. I haven't edited this yet. Okay, anyways, that is it, guys. Let me know if you have read this one or if you're going to pick it up. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every week. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye. He secretly sees it as like a mini vacation away from the snooze face. Face. <laughs>